Welcome back to shop time. I wanted to show you a flat surface table that I made for my Boss LS1416 engraver. This table goes in place of the knife blades and provides a flat surface that is great for engraving and it also provides an X and Y axis border to allow repeatability of items by always placing them in the same place. You can even cut additional templates to hold certain unique shapes, and your template can be placed in the same place every time. The table is made of two sheets of half inch MDF, a thin sheet of aluminum, and a couple of pieces of hardwood for the X and Y axis borders. Next, you will see the knife blade holders. There's one at the front and one at the back. They can be fine adjusted to help make sure your table is level to your X axis gantry. Then I cut the bottom piece of MDF so that it fit very snug inside of the table resting on the knife blade holders. I took my time slowly making very fine cuts and some minor sanding to ensure I had a very snug fit all the way around. Once I had the bottom piece cut to fit, I cut a top piece of MDF to match the outside dimensions of the bed. Next, I placed the bottom piece of MDF inside the bed on top of the knife blade holders. I then placed the top piece of MDF onto the bottom MDF, ensuring it was flush to the Y axis and X axis of the outside of the bed. Then I held it very carefully and drilled two small holes and put some temporary screws to hold the two pieces together. Next, I marked the top right corner so I would know which corner was the origin corner. I took the two pieces out of the machine, turned it upside down, and marked the same corner of the bottom piece. Then I took a thin pencil to mark a line on the back of the top piece so I could align the bottom piece back to the top piece using these marks. I removed the temporary screws and glued the two pieces together, ensuring my origins matched and my pencil lines were aligned perfectly with the edge of the bottom piece. Lastly, I cut a piece of thin aluminum sheet to match the dimensions of the top piece and adhered it to the top piece with some high tack double sided tape. After that, I painted the edges of the X axis and Y axis border using some dark spray paint. The paint allows me to engrave the exact mark that will be used to attach the hardwood borders. After the paint had dried, I placed the table back in the machine ensuring the origin mark was in the top right corner and focus the machine to the tabletop. Next, while holding down the pulse key, I pressed and held the left arrow key and then did the same thing using the pulse key and the down arrow key to make a thin line on the painted edges. Once I had these lines engraved, I knew the exact edge to line up the hardwood borders. I attached the border first using some double-sided tape aligning them to the marked painted lines. Then I drilled holes and attached some small screws with nuts that were recessed into the MDF to hold the borders in place. Finally, to allow for extra ventilation for the exhaust, I drilled some holes through the aluminum and the table. One thing to note, this table is used for engraving only. It is not used for cutting. Either the knife blades or the honeycomb table, as shown here, should be used for cutting. Since I made this video, I have made a new jig for cutting three millimeter and five millimeter plywood that I will show in a later video. The plywood jig sits on top of this table. I hope you find this video helpful. If not, at least you find it handy. And have a blessed day.